Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. Welcome to North Carolina Weekend. I'm Deborah Holt Noel. Now celebrating its 60th year, the Horn in the West calls everyone to the highest point in the town of Boone for an exceptional evening of drama. Join Julia Carpenter as she goes back in time to when the mountains of North Carolina were the western frontier and Daniel Boone's legend was born. <laughs> This is an exciting drama and a must-see for all Revolutionary War fans and families alike. Each night, this community and multi-generational families faithfully support the drama and museum with over 45 volunteers and 90 staff and professional actors ensuring your warm welcome and enjoyment. It's, it's amazing. It's got everything. It's got guns and, and battles and love and romance and, and uh, pr uh, preaching and praying and weddings and it has everything. Many dances, lots of songs and a great story. Start your evening around 5 p.m. and visit the Daniel Boone Native Gardens. Here they have a bountiful natural garden where they conserve native trees, shrubs and wildflowers wander and stroll a while and breathe in the clear mountain air. We are in the native Daniel Boone Native Gardens and we use this cabin as an interpretive device, especially when we have children come in, but anyone, and we try to interpret for them pioneer living in the early 1800s, late 1700s, and they can get a real understanding of what life would have been like living in a very small cabin like this that's drafty, dark, um, and you basically just had to sort of do for yourself because you were out in the wilderness. And then you must visit the Hickory Ridge Living History Museum because... I'm the sixth great nephew of Rebecca, the wife of Daniel Boone. People don't realize that, uh, especially North Carolina, was the frontier from uh, mid part of the state west was the uh, frontier of the time in the 1700s and uh, I feel like it's important that uh, people know that uh, the type of life and the hardships they had to uh, experience. Having textiles weaving and spinning and we have the tavern that shows that life. We have a blacksmith shop that shows how they made their stuff. And of course, Tatum Cabin is set up as a dwelling and we cook there, hearth cooking and stuff, and show the actual type of life they have. The Tatums raised 10 children in this one room cabin. He said at that time, the whole valley of Boone was just grass. It was a grassland. But see, this was the hunting ground of the Cherokee and the Catawba Indians. Dave has relived and retraced the steps of Daniel Boone and embodies the revolutionary time period like no other. I actually walked from uh, the Watauga settlement where they mustered for the Battle of Kings Mountain to Kings Mountain, 225 miles in two weeks. And uh, I wore out three pairs of moccasins on the trip. At the tavern, I was tricked by Sonomancy, a sleight of hand trick performed by actor Daryl King, the Reverend Isaiah Sims in the show. Oh, oh, I've got six. How did that happen? Two, three, four, five, six. There's plenty of demonstrations and opportunities to ask questions and have some fun. Well, it's a Revolutionary War period story that follows a family, the Stewart family, and they get in trouble in the Albemarle area, and they get in trouble at the Battle of Alamance, and then they have to run, and they join up with a group called the Regulators, and the Regulators were in trouble themselves. They were trying to regulate their own lives against the British government's wishes, and they ended up having to run to the mountains, and they run into a, uh, into a preacher along the way and uh, run into Daniel Boone, who leads them up into this area. And then the story follows that family and those people as they settle this region all the way to the Battle of Kings Mountain, which was the turning point of the American Revolutionary War.
You'll come here and go, wow, I just watched a Broadway play. It's that good. You will, you will feel great when you leave. And you'll be revital, revitalized as a patriot in this country as well. Horn in the West is a wonderful place for the family to spend a late afternoon and evening. And then you get to go on stage afterwards with the actors. Everyone will love the story and feel a part of the excitement and history. So plan your evening and book your tickets today. For North Carolina Weekend and the Performing Arts, I'm Julia Carpenter. Horn in the West runs through Saturday, August 13th in Boone. Gates are open at 7.30 p.m. and the show starts at 8. But come early to visit the museum. For tickets, call the box office at 828-264-2120 or check them out online at hornintheWest.com. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.